Hello everyone, hope you are good and safe. Today we are going to learn about nutrition. What is nutrition? So first of all, we will understand nutrition in simple words. Then we will see its definition. Then some key components and functions of nutrition. So if we want to understand nutrition in simple words, we can say all the processes by which our body takes the food, utilize it to perform all the body functions properly is called nutrition. So how we take the food, how it is utilized by the body to perform different functions is called nutrition. Now we see its definition. Nutrition is the process by which living organisms obtain, utilize food to support all their life functions. It involves intake, digestion, absorption and assimilation of nutrients from food which are then used for energy, growth, repair and maintenance of the body. So nutrition is all the processes like intake, digestion, absorption and assimilation is included in nutrition. So how we take the food? First we take food then it is digested so that it can be absorbed by the body. Then body absorb these components of digested food and these components go to the cell, each cell and utilized by the cell differently how they require it. So assimilation means these food components have become the part of the body itself for doing all the functions. And these functions include energy, growth and repair and maintenance of the body different functions so if we see the key components of nutrition there are four key components of nutrition first is macronutrients Second is micronutrients. Third is water. And fourth is dietary fibers. So these, why these are macronutrients? Because they need in good amount. And these macronutrients are carbohydrates. proteins and fats so these we need in good amounts that's why these are micronutrients and some nutrients we need in small amount which are vitamins and minerals so there are five components of new which we need five excuse me So these five components which are carbohydrates, protein, fat, vitamins and minerals are divided in two categories according to their requirements. If we need more then we call it macronutrients because we need in a good amount and we need vitamins and minerals in small proportions that's why these are called micronutrients. So these are the key components of nutrition. Now if we see the functions of nutrition. So main function of nutrition are energy production, so to do different work we need energy and these, this energy comes from the nutrition. Second is growth, and development to grow we need the main components to grow the body these are the nutrients and 
to utilize these nutrients is the nutrition so to growth and develop to grow in size or to grow tall we need some nutrition third is maintenance maintenance and repair we need nutrition to maintain all the body functions and to repair if we get hurt or if we get sick so we need proper nutrition to maintain or repair the diseases or repair the hurt fourth one is disease prevention or immune system support so if we want to prevent some disease we need proper nutrition or to build our immune system strong we need food or nutrition in the proper amount and proper proportions so what is proper nutrition now proper nutrition means balanced diet and balanced diet means all the nutrients in right proportions so these all the nutrients we discussed like carbohydrates proteins <coughs> carbohydrates protein fat vitamins minerals water and dietary fibers should be in proper proportions required by the body to maintain the body properly so that is called balanced diet so balanced diet is required for proper nutrition hope you understood about nutrition so nutrition includes all the process by which we obtain the food and utilize it to support all the life functions like growth repair maintenance energy so these